Hello students! Today, we're going to discuss factoring perfect square trinomials. Perfect square trinomial is the result of squaring a binomial. A perfect square trinomial has positive first and last terms, which are perfect squares, and the middle term is twice the product of the first and last terms. So here is the pattern for the perfect square trinomial. We have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the quantity of a plus b squared. And a squared minus 2b plus b squared is equal to a, the quantity of a minus b squares. To factor the given trinomial, examine whether the first term and last term are positive perfect squares. Again, I'm going to remind you that the first and last term must be positive perfect squares. Number two, look at the middle term. Check whether it is twice the product of the square root of the first term and last term. Number three, if conditions one and two were satisfied, then the expression is a perfect square trinomial. For number four, factor completely the given trinomial following the pattern a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to the quantity of a plus b squares or the quantity of a plus b times the quantity of a plus b. Similarly, if the given is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, the answer or the factors is the quantity of a minus b squared or the quantity of a minus b times the quantity of a minus b. Now, let's have an example. Factor n squared plus 16n plus 64. Again, let's check first the first term and the last term. For the first term, we have n squared. For the last term, we have 64. n squared is a perfect square because the exponent is an even number. 64 is also a perfect square because its square root is 8. That means 8 times 8 is equal to 64. And the square root of n squared is n. We're going to divide the exponent by 2 to get the square root. So, n and 8 are the square roots. Next, let's check if the middle term which is 16n is twice the product of the first and the last term is the twice the product of the square roots of the first and the last term. So that's it. So 2 times n times 8, the answer is 16n. They are equal, so this is correct. The conditions were satisfied. Now we can get the factors. To get the factors, you're going to make one small parenthesis and then write square. And then get the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term. Since the sign in the middle term is positive, you're going to put here plus. And this is the factor of n squared plus 16n plus 64. Another example Sample 2, factor 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Again, let's check for the first, for the last term. For the first term, we have 4x squared. And for the last term, we have 1. We're going to get the square root. If it has a square root, then we can say that the first and last terms are perfect squares. 4x squares, the square root of 4x squared is 2x. It means 2x times 2x, we have 4x squared. 
And obviously, the square root of 1 is 1. Again, these are the square roots. Now, for the middle term. For the middle term, we have 4x. Again, we're going to multiply the square root of the first and the last term. Then, multiply it by 2. 2 times 2x times 1. The answer is 4x, which is the middle term of the given. This is correct. So, it satisfied, again, the condition of a perfect square trinomial. Now, we can write the factors. The factors are 2x, since, again, the middle term is positive, plus 1 squared. The factors of 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 is the quantity of 2x plus 1 squared. Another example, factor x squared plus 14xy plus 49y squared. Same procedure. We're going to write the first term, which is x squared, and the last term, which is the 49y squared. Let's get the square root. Square root of x squared is x. The square root of 49y squared is 7y. And we're going to write here as the square roots. Next is the, let's check the middle term. The middle is positive 14xy. We're going to twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. So we have 2 times x times 7y. The answer is 14xy, which is correct. If that is equal to the middle term of the given. The conditions again satisfy. So the factors of x squared plus 14xy plus 49y squared is... The quantity of x plus 7y square. Sample 4. We have 3x squared minus 18xy plus 25, 27y square. So looking at the given, obviously, 3 is not a perfect square. Same with 27y squared. So this given is not perfect square trinomial. But if we're going to look 3, 18, and 27, they have a common factor or GCF which is 3. So let's factor first using the GCMF. We're going to rewrite 3x squared Minus 18xy plus 27y squared. Their GCMF is 3. 3x squared divided by 3, the answer is x squared. Minus 18xy divided by 3, the answer is 6xy. And 27 divided by 3, the answer is 9y squared. Now, this time, we're going to check if the other factor is a perfect square. For the first term, we have x squared. For the last term, we have 9y squared. Get the square root of x squared. The answer is x. Square root of 9y squared. The answer is 3y. And then let's check for the middle term. The middle term is 6xy. 
So, that's twice the product of the square root of the first and the square root of the last term. 2 times x times 3y, the answer is 6xy equal. Now, the condition you satisfy. The factors of 3x squared minus 18xy plus 27y squared is get the GZMF, which is 3. And the factor of x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared, which is x plus 3y squared. Oops. We're going to change the sign because the sign of the middle term is negative. We're going to use a negative sign. That's it. Next, we have factors of factor 75t cubed plus 30t. This is 30t squared plus 3t. So, same with example number 4. We're going to look at it. 75 and 3 is not a perfect square. So, this is not perfect square trinomial. But, they have a common factor. Which is also 3. Let's rewrite 75t cubed plus 30t square plus 3t. We're going to get the GCMF. The GCMF is 3. 75t cubed divided by 3. The answer is 25t squared plus 30t squared divided by 3. The answer is 10t plus 3t divided by 3t. The answer is 1. 25 and 1 is a perfect square now. Now, let's get their square root. The first term is 25t squared. The last term is 1. The square root of 25t squared is 5t. The square root of 1 is 1. This is the square roots. And then, we're going to check the middle term. Which is third, oops, which is 10t. Which is 10t. Twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. 2 times 5t times 1, the answer is 10t. Check. So the factor of 75t cubed plus 30t squared plus 3t is 3 times the quantity of 5t the sign is positive so plus 1 squared so this is the factor sample 6 factor 9x squared plus 12xy plus 16y squared 9 and 16 is a perfect square. So, let's check. For the first term, we have 9x squared. Last is 16y squared. The square root of 9x squared is 3x. And the square root of 40 of 16y squared is 4y. This is the square root. Let's check for the middle term. The middle term is 12xy. We're going to twice the product of the square root of the first and the square root of the last term. 2 times 3x is 6x times 4y. The answer is 24xy. But the middle term is 12xy. So, this is not equal, meaning 
this does this given does not satisfy the condition for a perfect for, for a perfect square trinomial so this is not factorable and that's it thank you i hope you learned new questions i new lessons for today god bless and take care everyone